Good morning and welcome to the locker room. Coach Ack here and today's message is time for new traditions. I'm not going to ask anybody to give up Thanksgiving Day football or anything like that, so don't worry. But with Thanksgiving just passing, I had some time to reflect on traditions and how loaded this time of year is with them. Big, obvious traditions. Then I started thinking about some of my habits and the habits of people around me and thought of them the same way I would a tradition. What's interesting is that we often fall victim to doing the same thing over and over again because it's comfortable and familiar. Yet if we looked at success stories, I doubt comfort and familiarity would be two things we associate with great achievement. The famous explorers of history quite literally redefined the way we look at the world as the great scientists and philosophers have changed the way we think. And yet, when we go to work and have an idea, it's often immediately shot down. If we're fortunate, we're with an organization always looking to improve. But for a lot of people, what we hear is, we've always done it this way. So a lot of companies get stuck. They grow slower than they should, all in the name of tradition. But don't get me wrong, tradition has value. And it's often what connects generations of people, whether we're talking about families, friends, or even companies. But when we start to look at traditions as habits, suddenly it's clearer that we may be shorting ourselves. As we look forward to the end of the year, I'm sure we're thinking about what we'd like to change and improve for next year. We can't do that unless we're committed to doing what's hard and necessary rather than what's comfortable. For example, I have the habit of hitting the snooze button. It doesn't help me. In fact, I cheat myself anyway because I end up setting the alarm for earlier than I know I need to wake up. I think maybe I'll make a new tradition of bouncing up with a smile as soon as my alarm goes off. Mark Twain once said, the less there is to justify a traditional custom, the harder it is to get rid of it. Sometimes we just cruise through life on autopilot without thinking about our speed or direction. I'm reminded of a story about a mother and daughter talking about cooking a traditional ham. The daughter asks her mom why she cuts the ends off the ham before putting it in the oven. The mother pauses and thinks and says, I don't know, that's what grandma did. So they call the girl's grandmother. The grandmother can't shed any light on this either. My mother did it that way for as long as I can remember, she says. So at the dinner in question, the three women asked the girl's great grandmother why they all are cutting the ends off the ham. The woman shrugs and says she only did it because her oven was so small. So look at your habits and look at your traditions today and think about what you can change. What new traditions will you look to create for yourself? Because when we take control of what we do, we are living our very best life. Thanks for joining me in the locker room, guys. We'll see you next time. Make it an amazing day. Share the inspiration. The Daily Locker Room Day-by-Day -day Workbook makes a great gift. With daily messages and interactive exercises, your friends and family will most certainly live their very best life. Oh, and be sure you have one for yourself. Order today at dailylockerroom.com.